Hey everyone, hope your trading is going awesome. Uh, at the time of this recording, implied vol volatility has been on an uptick, and that always means excellent trading opportunities for navigation traders. So hopefully this keeps up and we continue to get some amazing opportunities in the market. In this video, I wanna talk about why your opinion does not matter as it relates to trading options. And not, not only does your opinion not matter, but nobody's opinion matters, okay? And what I mean by that is there's so much garbage out there in the financial media that continues to spew this just these opinions and recommendations and uh, you know analyst upgrades and uh, price projections and it's all just garbage it, it really is and and so when I say your opinion doesn't matter I'm saying you need to figure out your trading strategy and 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 for those of you who follow navigation trading you know by now the philosophy that we follow. It's all about strategic positions, utilizing implied volatility as an indicator to enter and exit positions, along with all the other uh, stuff that we teach in our courses. But what I wanna really drive home today is the point that you shouldn't listen to other people's opinion, okay? That goes for me, that goes for economists, that goes for the talking heads on CNBC, that goes for the articles that you read in Money Magazine. Their opinions do not matter as it relates to your trading, okay? And I, wa I wanna point this out with an example, and I, I wanna make sure that, that you understand the point that I'm trying to get across. And it's not that, hey, look, I was right, they were wrong. That's, that's not the point I'm trying to convey in this example. The point I'm trying to convey is that you need to choose your strategy, be strategic around that, use high probability trades, understand implied volatility and how that affects your position, and don't worry about what anybody else says, okay? So here, here's the example I'm, I'm going to look at. This is Amazon.com, ticker symbol AMZN, and the date was that I put this trade on was 4-3, uh, so April 3rd, 2017, okay? So what I did is I bought a put spread. I bought a long put vertical. And, and the reason I did that is because a couple of reasons. One, I said, okay, if, if Amazon turns around and starts going down, implied volatility is gonna continue to rise, okay? Plus it was under 50, and if you follow navigation trading, you know that we sell premium, or net sellers of premium when implied volatility is over 50, and we can we, we want to buy verticals or, or potentially buy premium when it's when it's under 50. Okay, so it's barely under 50. However, we know that typically when stocks go down, implied volatility goes up. Okay, so I was taking a bearish position on this, so which would mean that if my opinion was correct, which again don't follow my opinion. You can follow strategies. You can follow my strategies, but don't follow opinion. My, uh, my opinion was that, that, that Amazon had been on a, a big run, massive run up the last few days, and at some point over the next uh, you know, 30 to 45 days, we would see uh, a reversal or a little bit of a pullback. Okay, so that, that was my strategy. And so I put on a long put vertical here on 4.3, and, and then what happened the next day is Amazon shot up again, okay, and, and it had a pretty massive move, and I thought, huh, that's interesting. You know, this, this thing's on a, on a nice tear to the upside, okay. I was, I was taking a little heat in my position at that point, and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to check out uh, Google Amazon stock and, and, and just kind of read up on it, see what, see what people are saying. So that's a point I want to make as well. It's okay to read articles on on positions, on stocks, on the financial markets, and it'll help it'll help you just kind of understand what's going on. But what I, what I would tell you definitely do not do is don't read articles for opinions, don't read articles for trade suggestions, okay? And, and, and this is the example that I'm showing. So, 
So it shot up the next day, so I thought, huh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check out um, you know, what, what people are saying or, or what's potentially driving this stock up. And so I read an article in, uh, uh, on CNBC online. The title of the article, and this was on this day, on, uh, the title of the article was The Best Could Still Be Ahead for Surging Amazon, and Here's How to Play It. I thought, okay, this is interesting. I, I, I can't wait to hear what they have to say. Uh, and, and so a couple of the couple of the lines, a couple of the quotes out of the article, Amazon could see more upside ahead, some strategists say, following a first quarter in which Amazon shares gained 18% and logged eight all-time highs. Okay, keep in mind, this date, Amazon hit a new all-time high at, at the time of this recording was $923.72. Another quote out of the article was, uh, Susquehanna, which is a big investment uh, manager, one of the analysts said the price said there's a price target now of $1,250. Okay. Now keep in mind, if you've ever read articles and, and, and tracked analysts' projections, they they try to just jump on where it's going. So if, if if it's skyrocketing upwards, they're always going to be putting price targets ahead. Okay. If it starts to if it starts to reverse and fall, they're gonna start putting price targets below. Okay. It's just it's just a follow the leader. It's just a copycat type of system, and there's absolutely no merit to it. Okay, if you can internalize that and understand that, and not follow that stuff, it, it'll it'll serve you very well in your trading. Okay, so so this guy says 1250 is an upside target, according to Stacy Gilbert, head of derivative strategy. Okay, so this is the head of derivative strategies for this big investment firm. Using options would be the best way to play Amazon now. Okay, so now I'm intrigued, right? I'm an options trader. I can't. I was like, okay, let's see what let's see what this uh, this analyst has to say. Options in Amazon are about as cheap as we have seen them. Really? Because if if you look at the chart, I mean, implied volatility is up here. I mean, you know, had, had this been down here, where implied volatility low, that's when the options are the cheaper. Or over here is where they're cheaper. But right now, really, they're the cheapest you've seen. Okay, interesting. So, uh, so if you're uncomfortable that our 1250 price target is too bullish, or you're just concerned that the downside could be higher than we're pricing, the options are certainly attractive way to play it. And what is that option strategy you're going to tell us? For example, investors may want to go out three months and buy an at the money call option. Hmm. Okay. So you're telling me that you want me to buy calls. So we've we've got we've got first of all we've got earnings coming up in a couple weeks, and if we understand what happens to the options after the earnings announcements, volatility gets crushed, which kills the value of a call. Okay. Uh, you can see it here. Got crushed. Got crushed here. That happens after every earnings announcement. So they're telling us we need to buy an at the money call. And, uh, and and prior to earnings announcements, okay, interesting. So, so I read all this and I thought, okay, that's that's interesting. This person obviously has no idea how implied volatility affects options, but yet they're the head of derivative strategies for for a huge in investment firm, okay. And, and I say it right here. So you want me to buy into all time highs? You want me to buy a call into all time highs? And if the price of Amazon goes up, volatility will contract. So that'll hurt your position. You want us to do it ahead of earnings where volatility will contract. That'll hurt our position. So in other words, unless Amazon has just has a, uh, you know, a two standard deviation move to the upside on top of trading at all time highs, you know, that, that's really the only way you're going to profit from this at the money call that they're recommending. Okay. So, so here I am, I'm short Amazon. I've got a, a long put vertical spread on and that I did on 331. And so let's let's see what happened to Amazon in the in the next few days. Okay, went up again, kind of looked like it started topping out, and then it started to go down. Didn't go down much, but then here, so here we are today, and today is April 13th. Okay. So I, I got in right here on 4-3 on this day here, on this little little green bar right here. 
went up against us, took some heat, came back down. It's basically trading at the very same area that I entered, okay? So I was bearish and it didn't even go, it basically didn't even go below where I put the trade on. But I took the trade off today. I, I sold my vertical, so I bought it for 21.58, sold it for 23.77, 13 days later for a profit of $219 on per contract traded. Okay, so if you traded 10 contracts, that's over almost $2,200. Uh, and, and that's over a 10% return on capital in 13 days. Okay, so again, the point of this lesson is not to say, look at me, I'm right, they're wrong, because guess what? This price target of 1250, that could still happen. Okay, and that at the money call that they're, that they're recommending, that could still be profitable, okay? Definitely not the strategy I would take, even if I thought the stock was going up. However, you know, who knows? This, this analyst could be right over the next few months and, and I'll actually kind of check it out to, to see what ends up happening, just, just out of curiosity. But the point of this lesson is their opinion doesn't matter, okay? Had I had this position on, I read this article two days later and thought, oh my gosh, this expert says that, that Amazon's going to 1250. I must have made a mistake. I'm gonna get, get out of this trade and take a loss. Well, I didn't do that, right? I, their opinion doesn't matter. So I did not take their advice. I stuck with my position. I stuck with being strategic and putting on a position that, that benefited from implied volatility. And like I said, the price of Amazon didn't even go down and I put on a bearish position, yet I made over 10% return on capital in, um, in, in less than two weeks, okay? So I, I hope that's helpful. I, I just, I want you guys to get in the mindset of, of really taking to heart that saying that your opinion doesn't matter. Economist opinion does not matter. Analyst opinion does not matter. Other you know, trading gurus who, who make these price projections and market predictions, their opinion does not matter. So I, so I know I've kind of beat a dead horse with that saying, but, but if you can internalize that and really get strategic around your positions like we teach at Navigation Trading, uh, it, it's really gonna benefit you in the long run. So I hope that was helpful. If you'd like to learn more about the different strategies that we use to make consistent returns, come see us at navigationtrading.com. We've got a ton of free resources, including the Navigation Watch List, which is a list of the most profitable symbols to trade for each type of strategy. We've got the Volatility Indicator, which you've seen on my charts. You can download this directly to your Thinkorswim trading platform. And we've got a free options course called Trading Options for Income, which is a step-by-step -step guide to get you making consistent trades right away. We look forward to seeing you there.